Hello, viewers. I'm SB. And I'm Elise. And welcome back to... Hey. What, what? Hey, what happened to the Cheesy Butts? The cheesy Butts are dead. What? To us. What? No? Also, That's maybe... That's me. Yeah, here's the thing. Uh, we didn't level up any players, and that meant that we weren't going to be able to show off how the leveling works. So I set us up in a new situation. This is great for two reasons. Number one, uh, it's orcs, which I know you have feelings about. I do like orcs. And That's number cool. two... This is a championship game. I have successfully Wait, what, is, what? I have successfully piloted the mediocre moons to the championship uh, round of a knockout tournament. So you're going to be a champion today, Elise. Uh... So you see that big, the big, glowy double chevron thing that indicates that there's some leveling up to do. So we talked at the at the beginning of the video, last video, briefly yeah. when making the team, about all these symbols on the character sheets for the yeah. characters. Now we're going to find out what they mean. Yeah, so click there and then click uh, Team Roster. These are the mediocre moons. You get it? It's a, that's like, a, they're not like the bad moons? They're better than the bad. That's a Warhammer joke. Yeah. As we say in the business, that that's a Warhammer. That's a... Okay. I don't think we say that. <laughs> Listen, that was that was the royal we. That we does not include you. So you can see here we have two players who have, uh, who have levels to gain. Blitzers. So, star player points. Let's talk about star player points. These. Star player points are your level up resource. These are experience points. You get them for you know what, Elise? How what? do you get them? How do you get a star player point? <laughs> Why are you doing this to me? <laughs> I thought maybe you wanted um, to be informational for a change. You oh, know, like take crap. the. Okay, you get them. I know you get them for doing cool things. Like if you, you do. score a touchdown, you get some. Right. If you do some things successfully, I think like if you successfully knock people down maybe injure them you have to injure them yeah yeah if you injure them or if you complete a pass also true i don't know what else look at that you know what's up i mean that's most like of that. it yeah if you uh if one of your players injures another player during a block yep. uh you get star player points two star player points if one of your players scores a touchdown he gets three star player points if you throw a completed accurate pass mm. You get the thrower gets one star player point. And I have to be very specific about that because there's a lot of ways for a pass to go in this game. We haven't really seen too yeah. much of that yet, but uh, it's totally possible to throw a completed pass that will not get you star player points for various reasons. Anyway, uh, oh, what about VIPs? MVPs. MVPs. Yes, at the at the end of the game, uh, an MVP on each team is chosen at random. Just any player on the team, uh, any player who is on that team's roster for that game. It can even be a player who died during the game. Uh, and that player is awarded 5 SPP. Uh, so you can see here, Rotak and Ugrnast. Boy, I just took the default names. I don't know how you're supposed to pronounce I Ugrnast. think this guy has pads on his eye eyelids. He's wearing... Uh, what is it makeup? Well, he's wearing shades. Oh. He was hired recently, and he feels that his future is so bright. <laughs> so, right, so, go ahead and click on, click on one of these level-up dudes. So... Uh, you can see on the left here, just to the right of the very impressive character model, you can see some, some st no, just the, the column oh. of thingies. Well, I, this is the very impressive character yeah, but model. The, the column of thingies where it says general agility, passing, strength, and mutation. These are the skill categories in the game. So go ahead and uh, click that level up button. When you level here? a character up, no, it says level oh. up at the bottom there, yeah. Uh, when you level a character up, you roll two six-sided dice. Go ahead and roll our dice. Okay. I got a six and a two. That is fine. We rolled an eight. Yes. Uh, so you get to choose an upgrade from the general or strength categories. You can buy a get get you a new skill, and getting a skill in this way increases the value of your player slightly, which means mm. your team value goes up. Okay. So um, Makes sense. teams that have a bunch of leveled up players will uh, give their opponents more inducements. You know. Um, if you had rolled doubles, you'd be able to choose from the agility or passing categories. That's what those two dice are meant to represent. And under no circumstances may an orc blocker choose a mutation skill. Some some character classes just can't pick from certain skill groups. Mm. Okay. In addition, if you, on your 2d6, roll a 10, 11, or 12, you can forego taking a skill and get a point of a stat instead, which is very wow. often right, because stats are incredibly powerful. Um... 10 gets you movement or armor, 11 gets you agility, and 12 gets you strength. Of course, it has to be the rarest, because strength is the best stat, because it makes you punch people better. Yeah. Okay, oh, so, nice. 
Too bad we didn't do that. This is a blitzer. This is a guy whose whole his whole thing is just getting in people's faces and, and boxing them. Yep. Uh, so he starts with block. You can see he has block already. We need to pick up a skill that will be useful on a fighty type character. So there's okay. a couple of a couple of solid options here. Um, there's a lot of choices. Yes, there are a huge number of skills in this game. Uh, the frenzy skill is always interesting. Frenzy uh, allows you to follow up if you if you throw a block result that results in neither player going down. Basically, mm. you get to follow. You push them and then you follow them. You don't get to. You and have then you hit to. Them. Yes, you are required to. Sometimes the player it, must. Sometimes that gets you into trouble. There are a lot of times in this game where you hit somebody and then you would like to not follow them. <laughs> frenzy yeah. players do not get that choice. So frenzy's okay, but it's dangerous. Mm-hmm. Um, another good skill is tackle. Tackle just makes your makes people who dodge away from this guy be treated as though they do not have dodge. Dodge is a good a good powerful skill. Lets you reroll dice and stuff. Why is tackle a foot? Um, in this game. When people dodge away from you and you stop them from doing it, it always shows them like tripping the other player. So oh. I think that's why it's like a trip. Ah. It's a trip move. Um, another good one is strip balls. Okay. Uh. Strip ball lets you uh, knock the ball loose from the defender if you if you can just roll a push. Oh, that's pretty. Good. So that means when you hit the ball carrier, almost all of the faces on the die make them lose the ball. That's pretty good. I mean, if. You know, it really seems to depend on who you're playing against, because it seems like a lot of these teams aren't so good at even getting the ball. <laughs> so yeah. maybe it's not even necessary a lot of the time. But I, I like And that. we're going to be playing Dwarves today, so that's that's one of those teams that's not so great with the ball. Mm-hmm. Um, but you also have access to the Strength category. Oh, I should mention Kick as well. Uh, kick is a thing that it might be a good idea for one player on your team to have. I don't think oh. we should take it on a Blitzer. But um, Kick... Uh, cuts in half the number of squares that the ball scatters on kickoff, which means that you can aim it to different portions of the field without risk of it going out of bounds. Mm. You can intentionally kick to like the back corner and stuff, and that can be really useful. Uh, okay. I don't think I don't think that's a good use of a blitzer's level up. Blitzers need fighting skills, but yeah. like if you have a garbage lineman who gets a level up and he doesn't roll anything impressive, like consider making one into a kicker. I like to have a kicker on my teams. Poor garbage lineman. Yeah. Okay, we got some stuff here. So these yeah. are these are the fun skills. Uh, Mighty blow, just yeah. When you when you punch a guy, right, uh, and he goes down, you roll two d six, and if the uh, number you come up with is higher than his armor value, you get an injury roll out of it. So this just makes you more likely Ooh. to break people's armor. Look, that guy's tooth's coming out. If you break their armor without needing the plus one from the mighty blow, the plus one is applied to the injury roll instead, which is okay. also two d six, and it's compared against the table, but basically, Mighty Blow makes you more likely to hurt people when you hit them. Uh, this is important for two reasons. Uh, one, it's great to hurt people, yeah. uh, to get them off the field, to make the game easier. But two, a character with Mighty Blow gets XP faster than a character without because he's more likely to cause injuries. Mm. Um, it's the cutest tooth removal <laughs> image I could ever imagine. Like, it's just like, spit! Like, Boy, I don't see cute when I look at that. I don't know, it's cartoonish. Um, another fun one is Guard. Guard's real strong. Guard, a player with guard will always provide an assist on tackles that are happening mm. next to him. His assist cannot be denied by a, another enemy player being next to him. That can be very, very powerful. I don't know that it's necessarily what you want on your blitzers. Because yeah. um, as we're about to see when we get in the game, the orcs do not have trouble holding the line traditionally. Mm. But um, it's not a terrible idea. It's Grab uh, gives you the ability to position your enemies a little bit better so when you knock somebody back you'll get to pick any space adjacent to them instead of just one of the three that's on their opposite side that can be very valuable uh break tackle break tackle lets you use your strength to get to dodge instead of your agility Mm -hmm. it doesn't do anything for this player but it's a thing for high strength players who have access to the strength category you know i say um probably like probably guard or tackle or one of one of those things Mm. Mighty Blow is not bad either, if you want to just hurt people. I already forgot what Tackle was. Hold on. Tackle denies people their dodge. I'll tell you what, it won't be useful in this game. Dwarves do not dodge. Yeah. Well... Oh, Strip Ball's not bad either. I'll let you pick this one, and then I'll pick the, ne- the next guy. How about okay. that? You know what, for the sake of, uh, for the sake of picking something, I-, I would not maybe normally pick this, but I do think it's interesting. Let's take Strip Ball. Okay. 
it actually is kind of hard to get the ball away from dwarves because most dwarf players have block. Mm -hmm. um, so one of the faces on the die that you would count on to get the ball out of somebody's hands won't work. Let's fire him. Let's, let's not fire him. That guy <laughs> is the that guy is the linchpin that of our offense. That makes me nervous that, that that you upgrade him and they put the fire the fire button right there. It's I like, don't think there's even a confirmation dialogue. Really? I think if you click that button, he's just gone. So All right, tempting. this this other guy is the same deal. Let's uh, let's level him up. All right, roll. All okay. right, nothing it's... special. Okay, so I think what do I want for this guy? That's a good question. Hmm, what is this? Ah, yes. Back. Yes, whenever somebody uh, would move you back, you may choose not to move back instead. Just need the mul oh. Multiple block is super powerful. It lets, you, uh, it lets you hit two people with your blocks, but your strength goes down by two while doing it. Uh, it is not useful for strength three players. You will never want to throw two one strength blocks. But on a big guy like a troll or something who has five strength, mm -hmm. there are times when throwing two three strength blocks is totally what you want. I think. Ugh, so many choices. Yeah, there's a lot going on, and we haven't talked about a bunch of skills that are perfectly good. It's just like there's a lot of stuff in this game. Well, I don't want to take forever choosing, so. Ooh. Would it be crazy to take Mighty Blow? No, I don't think so. Let's take it. Hurting people's good. Let's hurt people. Just in general, in life, also in video games, but... Yeah, I don't like this. Yeah, don't click that. <laughs> I want to click it, because I'm like, oh, that's, po yeah, that's, positive confirmations that's like, on this side. Yeah, confirmation buttons are always in the bottom right, yeah. So I don't even, like, without looking at it, I feel like my body's like... Their UI guy is a it. jerk. Yes. So let's, um, real quick, before we get into the game, let's talk about our roster. So okay. you have four blitzers, okay. uh, two of whom just leveled up. Um, six move, three strength and agility, AV nine. Orcs are wow. tough, dude. Uh, you have three black orcs. Ugroth Etiaface. Etiaface. Gorfang Bruzai. And Axar Breaknose. Breaknose. Uh, Breaknose? Breaknose. I don't know. I'm saying Breaknose. I mean, I think the, the theme is pretty clear. Yeah. Um, black orcs do not have any skills, but they have four strengths, and you get to have four of them. We only have three because they're expensive right mm. now. Um, get a thrower. Yep, we have a thrower. Oh, look at his teeth! Thrower Aww. has, uh, he has mm -hmm. sure hands, which lets you re-roll the roll to pick up the ball. And pass, which lets you re-roll the roll to pass the ball. So he's he's better with the ball than everybody else. Uh, most of our players are three agility, except for the black orcs and, of course, the troll. Mm. Let's have a look at that troll. Why don't you click on the troll? Let's, let's look at this character model. Let's bask in the Ooh. glory. <laughs> this is such a wow. good character model. Look at him. Jesus, huge. Yeah. What does this say? Do not feed that. <laughs> Do not feed that. <laughs> so when, uh, when the troll opens his mouth, you'll see him roar during the game. When the troll opens his mouth, I feel like you might be able to fit a whole normal orc in there. Wow. It's crazy. Do not so, feed that. Uh, the trolls are big guy, right? We saw a big guy on the rat team. The troll fills a very similar role to the rat ogre. He's huge. He has five strength. He punches dudes. He is really stupid. Aww. It says it right there. Where is uh, it? The, yeah, the fourth skill. Really, really stupid. Really stupid. Yeah, he's like a donk, like a plush donkey head on a stick. Yeah, so whenever you tell him to Those do something, there's a 50% chance that he'll just go, duh, and Aww. not do it. And when that happens, he loses his tackle zones until the next time you oh, no. make him act. Yeah, it really sucks. If one of his teammates is adjacent to help him understand your order, uh... He only fails on a one instead of a one through three. Oh, they help him out. So yeah, you have to you have to make sure that your your team's taking care of this dude. Um, he has a champ. He has an ability called throw teammate. Uh, if you have a teammate who is who is small enough and ready to go, he can <laughs> pick them up and hurl them downfield. I included a goblin on the team for this purpose. <laughs> I think throw teammate throw teammate is is very difficult to make it work. But it is one of the best things in Blood Bowl. A successful throw teammate play feels better than almost anything else you can do in any game anywhere. Um, also, he's got regeneration. So sometimes when he gets hurt, he instead does not get hurt. Hmm. Yeah. Nice. Okay. Tough to get levels on a troll because um, of the stupid. I really like this. Thing. But he does have Mighty Blow. He'll knock some dudes down. Yeah. 
today, but... Unfortunately, he needs doubles to, to take general skills, so he can't get block or anything very easily. Here's our goblin. Here's our goblin. Oh, he's uh, so little! Gitby. Yes. He's it's fine. Yeah, so Gitby has two strength and is terrible at fighting, but he's fast. He's got three agility, he's got dodge, and he's stunty, which means that he's better at dodging than most people. He dodges, basically, he dodges as though he had four agility. Nice. Uh, but he's more likely to get injured if he gets hit. Also, he's not good at throwing the ball, because it's much bigger than he is. <laughs> and then we just got a couple of basic line. We have 12 players, so just in case somebody does go out, we're ready. We will not be left shorthanded. We have an apothecary, so if somebody dies, mm. we might be able to fix that. I think we're ready. I think you're ready. Okay. We have 11... We have, oh, sorry. We have 110,000 money in the bank. Uh, you could hire a player with this money. Mm. But hiring a player with this money will drive up our team value. And I think your oh, team no. value is higher than the opponent's already. I'd be a little hesitant. This is like this is always a balancing act in Blood Bowl. It's one of the things I think is fun about the, mm. the game. It's a cool system. Trying to figure out how good you need your team to be in order to win. Mm-hmm. Because if you go, if you just go nuts and buy all the players and stuff that you're that you're capable of, you're going to be giving your opponents a lot of inducements, and some of those inducements are very powerful. Mm. So, if I were to save my money and get a team reroll, would that team reroll bump up the yep the team, team rerolls? All that stuff on the left there also increases your team value. Oh goodness! Well, I think I, I think, want. A I team think re-roll. save up for a team reroll is a perfectly sensible plan. Yeah, I think we're good for now on players. All right, let's do it. The Stone Cold Axes. They are 1030. So right oh, now, whatever. right now they'll get 80,000 gold for inducements, which is not enough to buy any of the scary stuff. Oh, that's good. They'll be able to get like a Bloodwiser babe who will help them recover from being uh, knocked out or something. I don't want anything, right? You you, you can't. You oh. don't have any inducement. Money. There's a, there's some complicated stuff to this system that I'm just kind of blowing past. Uh oh. What is this? I think that they may have uh, they may have recruited a star player. Whoa. They may have uh, they may have put in a little bit of their own personal petty cash. I didn't talk about that system because it's a silly thing, but so they hired somebody for this game. They, yeah, they hired a ringer basically. Hmm. Uh, Barrick Farblast. I'm gonna go out on a limb here. Uh, that guy might have a firearm. Oh no, <laughs> based, we don't want that. Based on his name, uh, one thing that is important to know about the dwarf players, is, uh, the dwarf team, is that they cheat. Mm. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Wow. That is not regulation. You are not allowed to do that. Uh, and yeah, you can see. I mean, the dwarves. They look like dwarves. I'm kind of oh, yeah. curious to see. It's pretty hard to tell the dwarf units apart, except for one. Let's see if they have one of those. It looks like they don't. Okay. They have a guy with a giant cannon. They do have a guy with a gun. Holy cow! Yeah, and he's got a he's got a crazy robot eye. Wow. Look at your dudes. Look at the troll. <laughs> the troll's so tall. The, ca- the camera is not adjusted for people of his height. It just cuts him off. Look how cute the little goblin is. You can see these black orcs here, like number eight. Yeah. These dudes are big and Huge. mean looking. So one of the reasons I wanted to play uh, orcs for this game is that Skaven are a sneaky, weedy team. They're always trying to do, like, ball-carrying stuff. Yeah. I wanted to get a little contrast here. So your opponent won the uh, won the flip, and they have chosen to receive... Okay. Orcs are a punching team, and so we're going to get a lot of good punching this game. So remember, uh, you don't know what the dwarf formation looks like yet. You have to set up first. They are not set up, so the thing you're seeing here on the field is not representative. Um, also, you have a guy on the sidelines, the 12th man. Where? Um, down there. This guy? Yeah. Oh. So if you would like to swap in the lineman for any of your players, like if you, if you don't want to have the goblin in on a defensive play or something... Okay, so what should I do here? Let's see. So they have... Um, I believe all their players are strength 3, but they almost all have block, and they have high armor values, and you can see that skull icon that a lot of them have. Uh, That is a skill that makes them less likely to be stunned. Mm. Or less likely to be knocked out, rather. So basically, they're just good good at punching, and they're good at taking a hit. Could you click on their star player? Let's see what he does. He's up at the top, like just to the left of where it says save. He's in the middle. You see there's a star under. Mouse over some of his stuff, would you? He's got a strong arm. Okay, so he's a passer. Sure, he's good at picking up the ball. Big school. 
Oh, he's got a thick skull. Yeah, that's that's standard dwarfiness. He's a loner. He's a loner. Any any player that you bring in for just one game isn't really part of your team, and so is not good at using your team anymore. Is Hail Mary pass? Oh, okay, yeah. They're going to try to run a passing game. He's got normal pass. Yep, just reroll his pass thing. And a secret weapon. Okay, so that... Not so secret weapon. So that gun, like I said, is against the rules. And what's going to happen is he's going to be ejected from the game. But not till the end of the drive. So, good luck. Oh. Alright, finish setting up. So, yeah, you got a bunch of these, these big, huge, four-strength players... Uh, a lot of teams up against dwarves have to sort of cower and sneak, like a Skaven team. You can just stand right up there and, and put some eyes out. Yeah. So let's... Don't put too many guys on the line of scrimmage. Like, I wouldn't put guys in the no. side areas on the line of scrimmage, because remember, anybody who's on the line of scrimmage is going to be easy to punch on the dwarf turn. The dwarves do get to go first. I want these guys to... So I'm trying to think about tackle zones a little bit here. Okay, yep, you're projecting some tackle zones along the sides. There's not a lot of holes for them to run the ball up. Or not even to run the ball up, for them to run so people up. you think up. I should move these guys up behind them? Yes, I think that's probably not a bad idea. Or should I move them all back slightly? Um, I don't think there's a lot of benefit in having them be really far back. No. Uh, if you take the last couple of seconds here, because your setup's pretty good, yeah. uh, to just click on some dwarf players, you may notice, uh, looking at their stats, a lot of them have like four or five move. They're not fast. They're not going to slip past you. Too short and stunty. Wow, dude. <laughs> I think he just ran out. <laughs> yeah, that dude, <laughs> is, that dude is getting drunk <laughs> right now. He was like, oh, Okay, yeah. so remember, try to kick the ball in such a way that it doesn't have a lot of chance to land on enemy players. But remember, the further away you from the center you kick it, the more likely you are to knock it out of bounds and, uh, and thus give one of the enemy players the ball for free. Hey. Oh, yay! We finally got something! Look at that. They think you're a brilliant coach. You oh, kick the ball oh. out of bounds. I thought it was pretty close to the middle. You, it wasn't. No? <laughs> Not really. Okay, so touchback. One oh, of them they gets gave the, it to the one with the gun! They, yep, they give, well, he's going to put it in that cannon and fire it downfield. So, we got to smash him. Yep, you gotta smash him, but you also gotta watch out for any dwarves trying to sneak past you to catch a pass. Uh, so the Hail Mary pass skill allows him to throw the pass really high on purpose, yeah. and it makes it so you can't intercept it, but it also makes it harder to catch. Yeah. Um, so we'll see. We'll see if he. I mean, it looks to me like he's just caging up. I don't. We, we used some terminology in the last video that we didn't bother to explain because we were talking about basic rules and stuff. Mm -hmm. But this formation where you have your where you have a ball carrier. Uh, surrounded by four players, sort of at his corners, is often called a cage. Uh, and the purpose of it, yeah, the purpose of it is to make oh. it. Oh, he took the Why negative two die block. All right, take the push because remember he has block and you don't. That both down die is real bad for you. Uh, you don't get to. Oh, I don't get to choose. You get to. So that the. Uh, oh, you get to choose the skull there. Oh, nope, he's rerolling. Oh. Okay, that's unfortunate. So that's both down, and this is. Yeah. Yeah. So the difference there really is that um, Defender Stumbles will push you back, while both down will just knock you down in your space. I'd rather stay there. Yeah. So what's happening, the reason those red dice are coming up, is that the Dwarf player is throwing blocks with a strength disadvantage. That is not a great thing to do in terms of uh, likely outcomes. Hmm. So he's left one corner of his cage with three strength, adjacent to a guy of yours who has four strength. You can maybe just punch this guy out and thus open up a path to the ball carrier. See, right now, it's very difficult to get to the ball carrier, right? Yes. Yeah. In order to hit the ball carrier, you'd have to do a dodge into a space that has, like, a minus four dodge penalty. So that's why this caging idea is strong. Uh, yeah. You gotta... We changed the uh, controls, so... Yeah. Uh, like, do don't... I have black? No, you do not. Oh. You... I mean, do you want to use a team reroll, or you want to take the push? I want to take the push. Okay. Take the push. It's early. Okay, yeah. I think that's, that's perfectly sensible. I would... Follow up, probably. Yeah. Follow up okay, so now you have a player adjacent to the ball carrier. This means that they're pressured a little bit. Should I stand him up? You should probably stand him up. Nope, too um, stupid. Too stupid, too stupid, to, stupid stand to stand up. up. Don't take the team reroll on that. Uh, the troll has loner, as all big guys do, so he's likely to fail team rerolls. So you can just click skip. But this is giving you time to consider whether you want to reroll. I've seen mushrooms that look smarter than that. Aww. So you could put a blitz on that ball carrier. Yeah. Right now, there is a hole. There's a path. Now, see, that's your guy with uh, with Mighty Blow, so I like that. 
<laughs> break some people. Um, he has sure hands. And unfortunately, sure hands negates the effect of strip ball, I believe. So your guy with strip ball would not be particularly relevant here. But uh, but see, I, this also is there's a no two die block. Uh, is it? Oh yeah, because that um, that troll slayer there on the corner doesn't have anybody denying his assist. You could fix that if you just move somebody uh, close to him. This might be an okay job like for the he... goblin, even. Oh, maybe like here. No, yeah, he's in the way, though. Yeah, he'd have to be right there. Because otherwise he'll block your path, right? Get so in put there, this guy right here. There. And now you could go for the one die block. It's risky, but it might be Let's awesome. Let's do it. I'm, I'm all about taking risks. Yeah, and w when you still have your team rerolls, is a good time for it. Okay, that face does nothing because you both have block. No, wait, he does not have block. Oh. That dwarf ah! still... The Dwarf Star player does not have block. I am surprised by that. Okay. Because he has everything else. Because he's a thrower, yeah. Okay, Th that's that's great, actually. Do, Ooh. do Ooh. not do that. <laughs> so, yeah, hit us. Oops. I don't know how you... Work. I don't know how you do... do uh, click on somebody else. Left click on somebody else. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Uh, I'm too used to the Blood Bowl 2 controls. I don't remember how it used to work anymore. This... So the reason that that won't work is because you're dodging into uh, so many tackle zones. Um, you haven't selected a new player yet. I think you're having trouble selecting that guy because the unit card keeps covering. <laughs> That's two GFIs. Ooh, you sure about that? No. Uh, why, why don't you Why don't you throw some punches? You have a couple of punches that could be thrown here. Yeah, you move that guy up and give an assist. So much of the game is let's find a way to get move guys to get our assists, move guys to deny their assists, and then. I would push him, yeah, that way. Because I'm, I'm worried that the other two pushes go toward the ball a little bit. Okay. Yeah. Woo! Woohoo! Armor break right away. That's nice. Yeah. It's just a stun, but that's fine. Whatever. And now, now your orc is uh, blocking that dude. Uh, dwarves are not good at dodging away from people. Yeah, you can't. Oh, I already you, used you blitzed. To, the, uh, to get the ball what else? I'm So, time, see but... if you can get this, some orc anywhere, just get adjacent to the ball. Even if you gotta throw a couple of GFIs, just get adjacent to that ball. Ooh, that's a crazy way to do that. You're gonna have to go around, yeah. I'm gonna do it. Do it. Yep. Just do it! Go! Ooh. Go for it! No! Oh, oh, he failed. He failed the first GFI. Oh. Do it! He's taking the reroll. It's it's a two plus. All he has to do is not roll one. Okay, that's not how I would have done that. Because you put yourself adjacent to two dwarf players, you could have yeah. the space right above you was also available. See, that's the thing. I was almost out of time. I think I panicked. Okay. Also, try to um, try to watch the high pitched screams of despair. Sorry. Because you spiked the mic real badly on that when you did that. Okay. Yep. So some punching is occurring. Mm. Oh no. That is a solid. Wow. He has. He just has straight up metal. Laid across his knuckles. That's harsh. Oh. It looks like gold, maybe. Gold's like pretty soft metal relative, yeah. right? Yeah. Yeah. Also heavy, I think. Is it? I, th I think so. Okay, so your goblin has dodge, so defender stumbles doesn't actually knock him down. Oh. Nope. Juggernaut. What's juggernaut? Uh, juggernaut is a skill that lets you treat both down as a push, I think. I don't know why he so used... So then he gets Frenzy again. Well, no, no, no you, you only know. get one extra block. I'm not sure why he used that there. He should have taken the both down and just flattened your goblin. It's probably, you know, the AI not being great at the game. Ooh. Listen, we're not going to have a huge amount of content on this channel that is us playing against the AI, because <laughs> the AI is not great. <laughs> They're not the best. Poor little troll. He's, a, he's not little, but... Poor, huge, deeply incompetent He's troll. so stupid. You want to try to stand him up again? Yeah. Just double click on him. Or, yeah, or click on him once and then. Okay. Oh, there you oh, go. He's up, he's up and he's projecting tackle zones. This guy, I guess, can stand up. So what's your plan? How are you going to... Are you asking me that before I stand him up? Yeah. Oh. Probably, like, before you take actions, right? What? How are you going to get the ball? I'm going to smush this guy. Probably, I guess. But how, though? I don't know. Okay, fair enough. <laughs> you, I think you're going to have to either click on something I'm on that menu, click. or click on that dude or something. There we go. There you go. Um, so, 
see, we're not. This is you might, great. yeah, you might not be in a position where you really can throw a block on the ball carrier this game, this turn. You might have to spend a turn playing setup. Why did I just try to select my? I mean, I could knock some of these guys down. Yeah, yeah, sculpt the field to your benefit a little bit. Yeah. And then figure it out from there. Let's punch this guy. Okay. Uh oh. Oof. I have block. You do not. No, I don't. He does. He does. This is a terrible. You should reroll this probably. Your turn is over if you don't reroll this. Yeah. Oh. That's a shame. Which one's worse? I mean. They're uh, they are equally bad. They're actually the same. They are, but. Ah, uh, he's like, injured. Maybe one is more than one. Okay. So if you use the apothecary, this dude might not be out of the game. Or actually, he will not be out of the game. The apothecary will patch him up until we back in at the beginning of the next drive. But you only get one apothecary per. Per game. She's gonna save it? Okay. Okay. Uh, that sucks. Wow. That does that's... suck. That was a short turn. Yeah, that was some bad luck. So, one of the things that I think is cool about Blood Bowl is that, um, I, I talked about this a little bit in the last video. The huge number of die roll events over the course of a game means that you get some of that, um, statistic smoothing effect, right? Mm hmm. Over the course of a game, you're going to roll pretty close to um, the statistical average. You know, you're going to be you're going to be within expected values. Ooh, no, oh no! You punched him in the crotch. Really hard. Oh, good crotch. I mean, I guess it doesn't take that much force behind a piece of metal to the crotch to stun you. Oh. I kind of feel stunned just talking about a piece of metal to the crotch. <laughs> um, yeah, you're having some bad luck here. So what I was saying is, uh, you're going to heal pretty close to the average over the course of a game. <clears throat> but also, there's such a large number of events that you will see some unlikely stuff. Every game, some unlikely weird stuff will occur. And I like that a lot, too. So what do you think here about getting in on that ball carry? You think there's a path? You think there's a way? If you take that guy, the guy who just stood up, you haven't finished his action yet. Can he... Where can he meet? Click uh, select it. Hmm. <laughs> there's a... There's a one-die block available to you here. On the ball carrier. I don't know that it's a good idea. Sounds like a bad idea. Okay. Um, the dwarves don't move very fast, and they actually only have five turns left this half, so if you can just keep gumming up the works and make it's it so they don't... kind of what I thought I would do. Okay, yeah. If you can just make it so they don't score this turn... Um, then you can probably... I mean, I could... <laughs> no, I, no, I can't. Yeah, I think I'm just gonna try to thin this out a little bit right now. Yeah, if you can just make it so they don't score this half, you can try to score in the second half when you get the reception. Um, so what? I, one thing I might consider doing, because it's a really easy two-die block, hmm. is uh, that Troll Slayer. Which one's the Troll Slayer? Uh, bottom left with the Mohawk. Bottom left. Go left and then also this bottom. Guy. Yep. Uh, oh. If you just stand that goblin up, he's providing an assist, and then your your blitzer can just punch that guy in the face. Get ready to get punched in the face. Uh -oh. All right, yeah, that's good. Dwarves do not generally. I have think I'm dodge. just getting used to saying uh oh. <laughs> I wonder if I should push him in here. Here. I yeah. I would probably push him toward your guys. Yeah. That's that's one of your four strength guys there too. Follow. Just make it hard for him to live and do his job. Okay, what else can we put together? You have a guy over here, this thrower, who could be moved into a position to provide an assist or something. What do you think? What's the what's the sequence of blocks with your remaining three punchers? No, I'm really bad Actually, at you haven't even used your blitz yet. No, I have not. I've only had one one block so far, so Yeah. I don't know, what do you think is right? Mm, I need some assists up in here. Let's see. He could go here? Yep. Yeah. I'll do that. Okay. Look that'll, in there. that'll give you a two-die block, and depending on the outcome of this, you might be able to wrangle another two-die block afterward. Get him. Uh oh. Uh, have, actually, that's a runner. He, yeah, he doesn't have block, so bam. And now this guy's providing an assist uh, on that um, blitzer there. Okay. So, do you follow up, put a guy adjacent to the ball carrier, and make them deal with him? Yes. But 
also leave that guy completely surrounded by enemies? Yes. You do? Yes. Okay. I'm doing it. All right. I think I probably wouldn't have. Wow. But that's not to say that you're wrong. It's just that's I would have done it differently. So a one die block is pretty risky, but a one die block is risky, especially if you do not have block and the opponent does. So think about the die. The block die has six faces, These right? These guys all have block. It's yeah, that's dwarves. Yeah. The block guy has six faces. Two pushes, attacker down, defender down, yep. defender stumbles, and both down. Uh, so in this situation, you get him on two of those, he gets you on two of those, and the other two are pushes. So I don't, I don't like, <laughs> boy, I would not ever consider. <laughs> what I'm saying is I don't think you should throw the punch. I think you should make them throw the punch. Yeah. Troll's feeling better, I think. Well, that just that just means he can get up next yeah, turn. Yeah, he's feeling better. Dudes who are down on their face cannot stand up this turn. Dudes who are on their back can. Well, that is expected. The good news is that this has actually created a wall of dudes that their ball carrier cannot get through. Yep. Uh, the the scrum here is is tight enough that. They're going to have a really hard time advancing the ball. So he's going to have to go to the outside if he wants to move forward. Well, they might be able to carve a hole here. Yeah, he could he could run through there. It's a little risky. He is um, unusually open. This is not bad for you. No? That's a little worse now. <laughs> if, you're, if your black orc was still up, this is actually pretty okay. Uh, as it is, you're going to have to come up with something a little clever. Not impossible, but... Problem. Uh, so you have to figure out who can blitz that ball carrier. They have four turns left, and the ball carrier has how much move? Five. Five. Uh, from the position he's in, it's only going to take him... Yeah. I think two moves... Does two moves do it without any GFIs? Yeah. It does, okay. Yeah, you gotta do something. You should not stand him up first. Stand up somebody next to him so that he gets the bonus on his really stupid roll. Hey, help him out. Teach him to stand up. There you go. He just needed an example to follow. Yeah. <laughs> throw teammate. You are allowed to stand up and then immediately throw teammate. That is a way to knock a guy down. If you hurl a goblin into a person, the person will well, go down. The goblin's all the way over here. Yeah, you, well, you can't do it because you started the troll's turn already. So you're going to have to close that menu there. There you go. Can he knock him down? No, you, you oh, declared that he is you declared that he is moving, not blitzing. You stand up. You. Yeah, standing somebody up declares their action for the turn to be moved, not not. Oh, because this guy's here. Yeah. You are not getting a lot of assists. No. So there's a one die block on the ball carrier available. Yeah. Hmm. I don't think you're going to be able to do any better. We didn't end up taking guard on either of our blitzers, did we? No. This would be a good time to have guard. <coughs> I couldn't hold it anymore, sorry. Okay. You alright? I'm okay. okay. <laughs> um, uh, I don't know. So here's the question. Are you, are, you gonna bl are you planning to blitz with that black orc? The one who's I have down. no plans the right now. The one who's down next to their star player? Because if oh, not, you should no. just stand him up. You can just double click on him to stand him up. Really fast. It doesn't seem to be working. Um, so, what? I, you're going to have to help me here. I'm about that, to... that orc right there, the one you had your mouse on just a second ago. This guy? Yeah. Can dodge away and then run over and hit the ball carrier from that, that yellow space that says minus one on it. You want to do it? Yeah. 
So do something like this. We're going to run the goblin down like this way. He's just going to scream. In case this doesn't work, and there's a pretty good chance. <laughs> Failed the dodge. Oh. The dodge is pretty likely to work. It's it's two thirds chance to work. What do you think? Do it. You gonna reroll it? Yeah, why not? Well, there's lots of lots of potential reasons why not. Life's short. Um. Okay, so now all of the spaces you can push him to are filled, so you push him into somebody, and then that pushes that person as well. So probably, yeah, probably back toward their end zone. Like, that seems okay. Sure. And then you gotta select the space for that guy to get pushed. This is called a chain push. Oh no, I gave it to the gun guy. Okay, that's not awesome. Uh, you have a blitzer who's near that guy, right, uh, who hasn't taken his turn yet. That blitzer with the white circle. White circle means I haven't taken my turn yet. Just move him next to the guy. You can't blitz. You've already blitzed. Yeah. But yeah, just move him next to the guy. Put some more tackle zones on him. Okay. It's not the end of the world. Probably not. Uh, you probably Ooh. also wanted to stand up that dude over there because now that troll slayer can like move around and do stuff. Yeah, I ran out. Ran you ran out? I ran out. What were you thinking running out? I was trying not to panic about it. What were you think? <laughs> Okay, so this is still this is still very doable. You just have to keep them off of the goal line for a little while longer. Okay. Good luck, Ugros. Oh, he came for that three die block. Yeah. Well, he didn't find a down. And again, he didn't find a down because your guy has block. But unfortunately, he was able to push you off of the ball carrier. Um, the double push potential of Frenzy is one of the things that makes it really powerful. This guy's face. It's <laughs> just too much for me. He's mad. Okay, well obviously, don't take the knockdown. The dwarves are rolling. Dwarves are rolling and letting you choose. They're so unafraid of consequences. Oh, I don't get to choose. Yeah. yeah. I keep thinking I get to choose where I go. No! You did, you did set them back a little bit. Right? You knocked the ball back a space or two. Yeah. So... It'd be hard to make them lose the ball. They're throwing, like, they're throwing all these one die blocks and all these all these you choose enemy chooses two die blocks. Those are dangerous. But uh, things are working out for him so far. It's because it's a cheaty AI. It is not a cheaty AI. AI always cheats. It is not cheating. It's cheating. It's doing the same. It knows no other way. Trust me. I saw some things earlier in this uh, in this season with these guys. There's no way the AI is cheating on its dice rolls. <laughs> I am 100% sure. Maybe you're working with the AI. Yeah, that seems likely. So, what do you want to do here? That, guy's, that guy, guy has left himself open from the front, right? I mean, we can blitz him from the front. Yeah. Put this guy here. Okay. Easy. Well, that... Okay, but you're going to have to do a, a dodge to make that, right? That... Or if you're playing to blitz with, he's in a bunch of people's tackle zones. Well, blitz with him. Also in tackle zone, uh, tackle zone right now. Is he? Yeah, that right oh. there. So how how could you resolve this? You could roll the block. You could roll the dodge. Yeah, the problem is you're clicking on them and you're selecting them and then double. If you just like oh. like just double click on that guy and he'll just get right up. See. Oh. Okay, so do you see a way that you could do this without a dodge? Can you make a die roll that's more likely to succeed than the dodge? You can. Oh, there's spoilers. a lot of guys. Yep, you should just tell me. <laughs> okay. So, like, we can get the tackle zone off of that black orc by having the troll punch the dude who's creating it, right? Yeah. And this will work even if all you can find is push, right? That'll be good enough. Don't be stupid. Ah, he's too uh, stupid to punch. You have friends here to help you. Okay. In this case... Uh, oh, he's still... Now I think we're going to have to take a dodge. Okay, so how about this guy here? Okay, seems perfectly sensible. And you do not have any rerolls left. And then... Now that's a black orc. He has two agility. You probably want to do this with the blitzer. Yeah, so dodge. You don't. You want to dodge into a space that has no tackle zones for the most likely to succeed dodge. And then run over and blitz. And remember, you got to commit to the blitz before you start moving. This? Yep, you gotta tell the game I am using my blitz. I, th I 
I think it knows. Yep. There's light people. Yep. <laughs> well, I'm just ah! saying, if you if you had moved okay. first. Oh, okay. Oh. Mm, not great. What can you do? You can roll better dice, Elise. The follow-up here is real risky. Yeah, I think this is a good stay. Okay. Uh, now I'll throw some... Like, you have a couple of places where there's a reasonable punch to throw, right? That black orc is adjacent to one dwarf. You can probably crush that dude. Crush him. Get him. Oh, Alright, that. well that's not usually what I mean when I say crush. He gets to stand next to the troll. Yeah, unfortunately the troll does not currently have tackles on this, so... He might eventually. <laughs> he might eventually, that's true. That's all that's you can hope for. Um, that's one die block. Yeah, you're gonna get bad blocks over here. Well, I guess I'll do the one die block here. I uh, yeah, okay. That that guy's a runner, he doesn't have um block. So you at least could maybe trade your guy for his guy. Which is uh I think beneficial when your guy's just a lineman. Like, don't be afraid of both down. Strategic both down can be useful. Yeah. Just make sure you do it at the end of your turn. <laughs> yeah, I guess that's it. Yeah, the only guy who has an action left is that dude who's next to the Troll Slayers. And I don't know that he's got anything uh, that's worth doing. Maybe running away. Yeah, maybe. But then that both of the Troll Slayers can just move over and protect the ball carrier. Like, him, just... him sacrificing his body to take away one of their actions may be the best thing he can do for you. Sometimes it happens, you know. This is usually what linemen are for. He's a blitzer, but we're just gonna mm. have to, just gonna have to put up with it, I guess. Oh, trying to open up the hole. Uh oh. Ah oh, man, they're having some very good luck on their block dice. Yeah. That's okay, man. We'll never stop turning. No. So that guy, does that guy have five moves? Which guy? The guy with the ball, the star player. Oh, you're seeing the... Hold on, we're gonna have to wait until they're not doing stuff to really look at it. Just throwing crazy frenzy blocks. Okay, you had to use the team reroll there. Grab yeah. McMurdy's and relax, Jim. They've had some pretty good luck. Not nearly as many skulls as I would like to see. But it's okay. We'll, uh... We'll get there. We'll figure it out. Yeah, we'll get there. Or we won't. Or we won't. Maybe we won't, you know? And that's that. Sometimes Nuffle is cruel. Man, he's just... The Dwarf AI loves these one-die blocks. It's like, it's like all my players have block. What could go wrong? Yeah. Okay, so that dude, the star player dude. Six move. Okay, he can definitely still make it to the end zone. They only have two turns left, though. All you really have to do is uh, discourage them one more time. So what do you think? What's the play? <laughs> yeah, your guys are in disarray, is how I might describe it. Well, I, after you've selected him, if you click on him, you have to actually click stand. Okay, so I need I need to get rid of this guy. Yeah, you just Somehow. gotta you gotta hit him. I mean, there's there's a there's a how. There's definitely stuff you can do. You could even generate a two-die block on him. It's going to require some dice rolling. Uh, so goblins are real good at dodging. So you could dodge out? Yeah, you could have the goblin dodge out and then run over next to the guy. And then have the blitzer get up and dodge out and then punch the guy. I don't know. I know that you're giving me a look uh, like I'm crazy, but I don't know how many other options you have. You could just plant the goblin in front of him, like, forward one space. Just put some tackle zones down and make him do something, but probably all he's going to do is kill your goblin. Alright, let's, let's do it. We're going to do it. We're all right, so go here. dodge to a space that has no tackle zones in it, here. then move to the space you want, and I don't think you want to go there. No. Okay. Because that's where you want to blitz from, right? Oh, yeah, probably. Ooh, now that's extra dodges. There you go. Yeah, like that's better. Because you want to throw the blitz from that close corner, right? Mm -hmm. So that you can push Ooh. him adjacent to the sideline. Make him make him afraid of the surf. So he should go here. Then there. Then here. Then there. Then here. <laughs> yep. Oh my goodness. It's not that unlikely to work. There's a 67% chance into a two-die block. That might have done it. 
you might have just done it. So there's a good chance that this will knock the ball out of bounds. If the ball goes out of bounds, a random frenzied fan will grab it and throw it back in, and it could go basically anywhere. Pick, you think pick. I don't... Uh, I don't know. <laughs> oh, he grabbed it! That's almost worse than it being on the ground. <laughs> no, no, that's fine. That's actually pretty good. No, what? Uh, well, your goblin's used his move already, uh, so he can't do anything. Your blitzer is on GFI movement only, and also is adjacent to an enemy player, so he probably shouldn't move again. Yeah, just start... Throw punches where you have punches. Oh, you should, um... You should try to make your troll do stuff. Oh, yeah, so that he will get his attack back? Yeah, I mean, you just hit somebody, right? Like... Hit him. Nope. <laughs> Too stupid, stupid to punch. Too punch somebody. <laughs> okay, well. That, you, that like guy stood up. Moved. Yeah, you can tell the guys who still have their action left have white circles, and the guys who don't have red circles, you see. Yep. So that guy's got a two-guy block. Yeah, it would be really cool if you could, um... Yeah. Okay, if you could, yeah. It'd be really cool if you could injure one or two of them. Unfortunately, it's not gonna happen. But uh, it would be really cool if you could injure one or two of them so that you don't have to face quite so many next half. Yeah, and then just make it so he doesn't have as good of a block against you. This poor goblin, what is he gonna do? He's gonna get spanked. Yeah, what he's gonna do is get pasted. But, but um, he, you may well have stopped him from scoring. Yeah, that's my hope. What? Okay. Curious. What do you reckon the strategy could be? <laughs> oh, I know what the strategy is. That troll slayer is gonna frenzy your goblin off the field, I think. He's moving guys back because he's gonna try to like be where the be in position to grab the ball if it goes somewhere weird. Yep, he's gonna push you adjacent to the sideline, and then with the second block, uh, attack it up. No, nope. oh, no. Bye bye. He's already killed. He's alone. Uh, Blood Bowl fans, as you might imagine, are not the most pleasant people. Uh, that's just a KO. I wouldn't apothecary carry that, especially a KO'd goblin. Okay, yeah, they can't score that, I, I don't think. Not, none of their players are close enough to make it to the end zone, so even if they pulled off a passing play, it's, it's not scorable. You did it! You stopped them from scoring, and now you will go into the second half with the advantage of receiving the ball at even score. Right, like, I don't think... If he, even if he handed off to that guy, I don't think he would make it. So I have a proposition for you. For me? Yeah. What's that? No, for the, no, for the orc on screen. I don't know. Oh, <laughs> uh, he rolled that. He rolled that oh. red block, and he just wait, wait. He just made it. He just rolled two good faces. What's up? Uh, What's your? You what? don't have to, but I was wondering if you might want to play the second half. I might want to play the second half. I could do that. Because I think that. Um, you don't want to be a champion. I am. I am, no matter what. Okay, I, fair enough. I think you know, you're really good, and um, I think it might be interesting to see how you how you play. I mean, no offense, we're basically already seeing how I play. Yeah, but it would be smoother. <laughs> <laughs> it's up to you, though. Yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll play a second half. I can do that. You're gonna have to like lean in real close to the mic from this chair. That's okay. Right. Let's hope I just don't fall into the mic. I don't think that's likely to happen. Good, though. Given that the mic is a, you know, not a hole. I don't even know how. I mean, like, if I lean forward, I might lean forward and then hit it and then fall down. Hey, right, it's your turn. Oh, it's my turn. Oh, my goodness. I was like, what's happening? You want to just black orc blitz that ball carrier? Put things away? There's a, there's a black orc right, right there. Oh, this one? Yeah. Bruce his eye. Uh, don't, maybe, though, from that side? Right, if you hit him from... Yeah. Over here, yeah. Over here, here, here. You're gonna have to um, unselect whatever it is you've done here. Change the controls. Oh, that's gonna be. This? Yeah. Is that way you push him further away from yeah. the end zone? Go for it. Get him. Okay. okay. So if you push him left, you can try to hit him with the other black cord. Yeah. Make sure you follow up, I think. 
Yeah, never stop hitting the ball carrier. This is my favorite strategy. <laughs> just chain push him all oh. over the place. Okay, just push him right in front of your guy. I mean, <laughs> it doesn't matter. The dwarf player only has one turn left, so he can't. Yeah. There was no but universe. I was still room. hoping that I could beat yeah, him yeah. up because he, he brought a gun. <gasps> but, but. You might be able to surf the troll slayer. Ooh. I know it's ugly. Save it to the end of the turn. But there's a pretty good chance. Even on a negative two die block, there's a pretty good chance that you you make push. Mm. Too stupid to stand. Ugh. You know what the problem is? You didn't have anybody helping. <laughs> well, I wasn't gonna put anyone in there. So you could you could get a two die block pretty easily on that troll slayer up there. Right, just move that guy. Yeah. Just like try to injure somebody, right? Just keep trying. Your life's gonna be a lot easier if they're down. Uh, two players. Because remember, they're going to lose their star player at the end of the draft. All I'm getting are pushes. You're rolling a lot of pushes. Mm, I think I can lay down. Now. Just going to leave you down? Okay. Yeah. Do I have right. anything else I want to do? One bag left? Yeah, I mean, with you both having blocked, this is slightly more likely to, to turn out in your favor than in his. And there's, yeah, there's a pretty good chance that nothing happens. It's fine. All right, Elise. All right. I believe if you if you surf <laughs> this dude. So when you when you knock somebody out into the crowd, um, ah, uh, all you had to do was not find skull. Do so you want to continue explaining it for the? Yeah, don't don't. Yeah, if you when you knock somebody into the crowd, we've already seen it though. Yeah, uh, you don't get star player points if they get injured or anything. Mm -hmm. But even if they don't get injured, they are off the field for the rest of the drive. That's not a thing that was super relevant here, but it's a good reason to surf people to crowd surf people um, yeah. in normal circumstances. Here, it was purely about trying to hurt him and the amusement of succeeding. Yeah. Yeah, like the, part of the part of the value of like trying to go for the crowd surf, right, is that it's it's one of the rare situations where you'll be able to hurt somebody by just rolling a push. Mm -hmm. Oof, he's lining them up. Okay, he's not finding the good faces. That short little he's angry guy trying to set up as many assists as possible. He's he wants that three die block, but he can't get yeah. it. He's being greedy. Being uh, greedy. In order to get a three-die block on a black orc, well, you'd have to have an awful lot of assists. Those two are having slaps and fights over there. <laughs> yeah, they seem, they seem to they just be, be like high-fiving over and over again. Okay. Uh, what do you think here? Well, you have a couple of punches to throw. Remember, the star player's going away at the end of the drive anyway, so it's not valuable to hit him. Yeah, you're going to have to um, find some assists or something here. One thing you could do, that we don't often do, is you could have this blitzer, you could have your guy blitz here. Because okay. we often use blitz as move and then attack, but it also could be attack and then move. right? He could punch that guy, and then, assuming he rolls at least a push, he could run over here to provide an assist on somebody. Okay. So to do that, you click on him. He's clicked on already. No, click on him now. And select Blitz. And now hit that guy. Because if you just hit the guy, right, it would just, it would take that as a block. And then no, do I have to choose his No, movement? no, go ahead and... You, are, you already declared he is Blitzing. Oh. Well, now I've screwed it up. Yeah, click on him again. Select Blitz, and now hit that guy. Good stuff. Okay, and now, yeah, run, you just run over into a position where you can provide an assist. Yeah. Like this. And then hit it. Okay, there we go. Uh-oh. Well, that's good. I don't know why I keep saying uh-oh, because I think I assume things are going to go wrong. Def yeah, Defender Stumbles is just Defender Down against Dwarves. Or against Dwarves. No Dwarves have dodge. And I believe, nice. I think that no dwarf player has access to agility skills on normals. 
So it's not even easy for a dwarf to get dodge. It's not really much of a reason for him to stand up. No, this is the last turn of the half, by the way. The yeah. dwarves don't have a turn after this, so you don't have to worry about, like, retaliation or anything. Okay, cool. Good Smash one die. Him. Break some armor. It doesn't oh. Armor break. Oh. Promising. Oh. Ah, it's just a stun. Ah. He's got a thick skull. He thick So, so the, uh, the, what thick skull does is, uh, it turns the lowest KO result into a stun instead, and that's what happened there. He would have been KO'd if he didn't have thick skull. I forgot about these guys. Otherwise, I would have done this first. Oh, well. Oh, well. Okay, I think that's good. Yeah, I think that was a good half. I think you, you accomplished an important goal of not allowing the opponent to score on the half that they received. Mm -hmm. Alright, let's, uh, ow. Right. Stop my toe. Time to be a champion. Yep. Yeah. Oh, one of my guys got up. Oh, yeah. Faster. Sorry. Musical cheers. We're on such a tight timer, whoa. Yep, Barak Farblast is sent off. It turns out you are not allowed to use a cannon. So why did they wait until the end of the first half to send him off? Uh, they wait until the end of the drive because Blood Bolt players are terrifying and the referees are all goblins. That is kind of funny. Okay, so they've set up. We can see they're, uh, they're presenting strong. Mm. They think they're going to win this game. How many guys do we have on the field? We actually have a full complement of dudes, right? Only one person's out, so... Yep. That twelfth man is coming in handy. So the question is, how many dwarves do I think I can punch in, like, a convincing manner? Uh... I don't know how to answer this. A lot. All of them. Oh, no, we, we, are, we are down a man. We have an injury and a KO. Oh. Right. I was trying to figure out where the third black orc was, but that's where he is. He's in the box. Alright, so I'm just going to go hard. Like, screw these guys. So here's my plan. This is a no-assist situation right now. Mm -hmm. But black orc has a two-die block on this guy, and if he achieves so much as a push, pushes him back to here, then this guy's providing an assist. If we hit this guy, then this guy provides an assist there. So we're just going to kind of domino effect him across the line. Mm -hmm. And then right here, we just have two face-to-face matchups yeah. that are uh, favorable for us. Okay. In addition, we're going to do what's called a strong side offense. That's not a flashy name. It is a descriptive name. It describes the thing. come up with something more exciting. So we're going to put two players... Frisky flank. That's horrible. We're going to put two players <laughs> back here. <laughs> for the purpose of uh, catching the ball. Okay. You know, the ball's going to get kicked somewhere. <laughs> and then we're going to try to open this up. Basically, our, our whole play is going to be taking their line and sort of shoving it to the right, and we're okay. going to plan to go up the left. So I put my thrower on this side so that the ball goes this way. There's some chance we can get it over here quickly. Okay. We got, we got oh. short stuff. Uh-oh. <laughs> Pitch invasion. The, oh, fans, no. the fans have invaded the pitch and brutalized oh my goodness. some number of players. Wow, oh, that, that hit them slightly harder than it hit wow. us. But it hit them in a way that's actually pretty bad for us. It broke it broke up our play. Yeah. Here. Um it's not the end of the world. Certainly not a bad it's I wouldn't go so far as to even call it a bad thing. It's just yeah. it's just different than I thought it was going to be. So the first thing I'm gonna do is move this guy to here. He's protecting the ball. Yep. Makes uh, sense. If our first block completely fails in an embarrassing way, at least it's going to be hard for them to pick the ball up. I'm really loving the uh, the announcer talk going on here. Alright. So because things didn't work out the way I planned, it's going to be a lot harder for us to shift them off to the right. So instead, I think what I'm going to do is try to crowd these dudes over to the sideline. Okay. Go right here. We have a little bit of time. All of these players are stunned, so they won't yep. get up on their next turn either. They're seeing stars. They're seeing stars. Have you ever seen stars? I have not. I have. No, that's not true. I have. I, I, have, I have real good on that door frame one time. Door frame? Yep. How'd you do that? I walked into a door frame. 
Why would you do that? <laughs> I think that was pretty evident in the story. You didn't Maybe need to, someone pushed you or you something. You didn't need to... You just to, walked right into it. You didn't need to push for the clarification. I feel like that was kind of a kind of an aggressive thing. You did an aggressive thing. I did. That one time, remember when I hit my head on that, that bookshelf? I do. So I was on a couch and it just kind of fell over. The whole thing fell over backwards, which... That's kind of like the one thing a couch is not supposed to do, is just fall over backwards. Yeah, yeah I saw stars that thing. time. I hit my head so hard. It is acceptable for a couch to do literally anything else. Well, so at this, sit there. At yeah. this point, we go for the pickup. The pickup's pretty likely to succeed. Uh, you can see, we failed it, but we got a reroll off of mm. share hands, which is why the pickup was so likely to succeed. Well, see, now I'm glad that you're playing, because I actually have never looked down there. Oh yeah, the di yeah the <laughs> dice log is down here. That's I'm, great. I don't know I like if that. there's a way to see back past the current action. I wish there. I hope there is. I like that though. It's very should, clear though. what what's happening. Okay, so now the question is, what do we do about this situation? This is a little bit more precarious than I would like, and they're going to be able to get good punches on their turn because they can move guys in to set up assists. Mm. So I actually kind of wonder, while we still have our team rerolls available, I wonder if maybe I should just dodge out. And set up like a sort of a loose cage, mm. uh, which is my favorite Marvel superhero. I was just gonna say. Okay. <laughs> I was like, how can I actually make what I want to say funny? And I couldn't think of a way, so I just has. Yeah, so I'm I'm doing this. This is a loose cage. I'm not getting them adjacent to him because I want it to be. Ooh. Is that a good tackle or a bad dodge? <laughs> you know. I'm gonna go ahead and use a reroll. Oh no. No. Okay, not great. My plan was to set up tackle zones such that it would be awkward for people to get to the ball carrier, mm -hmm. but also make it so that if they blitzed one of those guys off, the blitzer was not then immediately adjacent to the ball carrier. Mm -hmm. um, now keep in mind, the movement speed of the dwarves is going to work against them. This guy actually only has four move, and so he has to roll GFIs to get next to the thrower. Oh my goodness. So, um, yeah, you can see the plan has converted a little bit, and what I'm actually going for now is we're just going to strong roll up the side of the field and the thrower's just going to run in behind them. He's just going to follow them up. Alright, I'm ready. Oh. I'm ready to see this happen. Uh-oh. Here comes a double GFI single die blitz. Oh he makes all the rolls. What? He only gets push. How does he make all the rolls? Well, I mean, they're all two pluses. He rolled a five and a three. Mm. Well, at least it was only a push. So I think we can use our blitz to clear the ball carrier, and I think that's probably a good idea. Right, we do this yeah. and push him up. Or knock him down, but like always, yeah. whenever you throw a die, whenever you throw a block, be thinking, what if this is only a push? How do I do that already? How do I make that a only is a push. Yeah, you should, you should expect that it will only be a push. And because this guy blitzed, he can still use the rest of his movement. So we'll just nice. run over here and uh, set up the assist. I should have well stood a lot of these guys up before doing that. That was a uh, bad play. You were just so excited. Yeah, I saw a good action, and I was like, oh, let's do the cool thing. But all these all these guys should stand up. This is important. Uh, stand up and move here. Sacrifice your body for the cause. So we should probably move the ball carrier forward. Just trying to figure out where the right place is. I want to I wanna move the ball carrier forward before I roll any more dice, just in case something dumb happens. Mm. But I really wish I had a better idea what the field was going to look like over here. Not knowing what the, how the blocks are going to end up makes this tricky. This is probably pretty safe. Let's go here. I hope so. The troll will probably. save him. Yeah, I bet. The troll will probably be so stupid that he will you know fall what? over or hey, something. Hey, Elise, what? you know what trolls are is competent and reliable. <laughs> oh, I must have had them confused with something else. That that's a holding maneuver. No, maneuver. No. So I should probably should that's, make that's, This is this is the most American thing we've done the whole stream. <laughs> yeah, let's let's make fun of how. Oh no, that's a bad roll. I actually think it's really important this guy don't go down. So uh, let's use the last team reroll. All right. And I will just play the last the last you know seven turns of the game without him. It'll be fine. Follow up to make life difficult for these dudes. And I think Trollman maybe stays exactly where he is. Now let's see if we can knock this guy over. That'll discourage pursuit a little bit. Um, but I think we stay put. 
so this guy can't get up mm -hmm. and move in. Mm -hmm. All right, we've created a situation where it's a little bit difficult for them to get to our ball carrier. We've got a like a kind of a dense, weirdly shaped network of tackles. Certainly a weirdly shaped. This a hey, it's Blood Bowl, man. Listen, the uh, the best laid plans, right? Why would you put the troll right next to the troll slayer? Okay, I see what you're saying. That seems cruel. <laughs> uh, maybe this is responsible for some of our bad rolls. Yeah. The, you know what makes him a troll slayer, Elise? What? It's just the haircut. It's not like he's particularly good at fighting trolls. <laughs> That's just what they call that haircut. Oh, the troll slayer? Yeah. Why? He walks into the he walks into a dwarf barber shop and he says, Hey, give me give me a troll slayer. <laughs> Why do they call him a troll slayer? Uh Alright, I'll ask you again later. Call yeah, give something. me okay. give me a minute to think of a bit. Alright. That one's a hard one. That's not great. I don't love that. I wish that had me. We try to get our troll to slay this troll slayer. Yeah. Yeah. Revenge for having that name. Too stupid. Ugh. Too stupid. He's got he's got a friend. He's you have just a friend and he's telling you what to do. He's just too Come stupid. Oh. So, like, I'm trying to figure this out. We really need all three of these guys to go down. And unfortunately, yeah. I don't think we can do this in a way that lets us do it all with two die blocks. Mm. You guys should stand up. You're just, they're just going to get punched back down, but uh, that eats enemy actions. Yeah, it keeps them distracted. This is bad. That, that failing to, to happen is really... That's rough for us. He's a real bummer. Okay. I have to say. Oops, I'm doing the wrong thing. I'm uh, I'm playing it by the normal controls. You want to switch them? Nah, I'm okay. Okay, uh, let's not worry about this guy. I guess my plan is going to be to clear these two guys out, and then just dart the thrower up the side. So this guy can just stand up, I think. Okay. Provide an assist. Actually, I made an error there. That should have been a blitz. Because now there's no way for us to get a two-die block here. Well, there is. I can run. I can just run the ball carrier up here to play the assist. It's risky. Yeah. But I don't think it's actually riskier than throwing a one-die block against the dude with block when our guy does not have Risky is fun, though. Risky is also fun. Yeah. Let's do it. I like risky. So we can push him so he's not adjacent to the ball carrier, but I'd rather push him so that I can maybe surf him next turn. <laughs> you really like to do that. I really hate it when the enemy has guys on the field. That's my least favorite mm. part of Blood So I, d I do everything in my power to prevent that from I being can see the situation. That, yeah. Um, I kind of think that throwing a block in uh, any of these situations is not great for us. Like, I'm not going to lay my guy down. They can spend their action to lay my guy down. Mm -hmm. We we do not have an opening yet, but we're getting there. Okay, he's doing the thing right. we thought he would do. Oh, you're killing me what? with these... You, That's cheap. See? You're killing Cheating. me with these negative two-die blocks, man. Come on, pop it out into his hands. Yes. Blitzer gets the ball for free. Nice. That is not a bad situation. Alright. Alright. Oh, no. Uh-oh. Oh, how are they getting these rolls? Well, I mean, two-die blocks are pretty likely to work. Not when I do them. <laughs> well, that's because you lack conviction. Oh, man. Yeah, we're going to be okay. Uh, remember... In order to win the game, they have to score. Right, like dwarves... In order for us to win, though, we have to score. Yeah, but we can. Dwarves, dwarves put up a big game when it's when it's time to, you know, throw punches. But when it comes to actually putting the ball into the end zone, or indeed, putting the ball into the hands of a dwarven player, mm. uh, they are somewhat less impressive. Oh. Yep. Yep. And the thing is, if we score, we basically win. Because it will be very difficult for them to score in this very small amount of time yeah. that's left. 
So if we can just find a way to win this game, and I think we can. Let's try to, let's, okay, who, who is just standing up? Anybody who's not doing anything but standing should stand. So it's you and you. In addition, I think I want to move the troll to here to try to ward these guys off from coming after us. I think we can win this scuffle with just mm. the players we have over here already. Mm -hmm. Let me use the troll as kind of a wall. I'm not letting him blitz. Good, if good you idea. if you have a big guy blitz, if you order your blitz, mm -hmm. and he chooses not to take his action because he's too stupid or angry or whatever, yeah, um, he has still consumed your blitz. So it's very dangerous to blitz with your big guy. Okay, so we throw this here. I'm not going to stand this guy up, because if this knockdown works, I may want this guy to blitz. Mm -hmm. okay. So let's try to find the knockdown here. We got Ooh. there. Nice. We yeah, do oh. follow, I think. And now we have a two-die block on this guy. Everything's coming up Millhouse. Oh, nice. Hmm, we need to get a GFI for this to work. What do you think, Elise? Do it. Go for it. GFI! I believe in you, Gazla. Alright, that was all we I needed. hate how they, like, fall into position. It makes me so nervous. I'm like, ooh. And now I'm gonna blitz with our ball carrier. Oh my goodness. Oh. Risky's fun. Risky is fun. Oh. Bam. Yeah, nice. How do you feel about that? I feel good about that. Hey, Elise, yeah. I think we're going to do it. Yes, we are. I think so. You don't have to win every die roll. You don't have to win most of the die rolls. You can totally win a game of Blood Bowl only winning 20% of the die rolls if you're just playing smart. Most, yeah, of, the, most of the die rolls are not that important. That's easier for you than it is for me, so... Most of the die rolls are, are flashy. They're not that important. Yeah. Uh, this dude is going to get up and dodge out. That's, that's his only play, so it's what he's going to do. Uh, he does not have block, and we do. Like, this, yeah, this was pretty pretty likely to He's work out okay for us. He's desperate. And nobody else can get to us. None of the other Dwarven players have the speed. Actually, this guy might be able to get adjacent if he makes a GFI. One, two, three, four, five, six. I think this is a five. Oh, that's a four-speed player. He would have to make two GFIs. He doesn't have to dodge, because the troll doesn't have tackle zones. Oh, no, the troll does have tackle zones. He wasn't stupid. That's right. He moved this turn. On purpose. Mm. So yeah, this this guy with two agility would have to make a two agility dodge into double GFI to get adjacent to us. So he won't. And then we have this, and all we gotta do is get nice. all we have to do is score push. Yep. That's nice. even better. Even better. Okay. Elise. Got it. I think it's time for some poor sportsmanship. <laughs> We are going to move adjacent to the goal line in a space where our ball carrier is not reachable by any enemy, and we are going to intentionally not score to run down the clock a little bit. Because mm -hmm. dwarves can score in a four-turn drive, but they it. can't score in like a two-turn drive. So we're going to just burn the clock a little bit. Okay. Uh, if somebody does this to you, and you get salty about it, it's really on you. Uh, I say it's poor sportsmanship, oh. but it's a thing you can do. It's totally within the rules of the game. Uh, I mean, it makes sense. And it's a real and important strategy. 50%. Yeah, because he's not—he doesn't have anybody adjacent to him to help him. Well, it doesn't ever seem to help him anyway. So <laughs> it's fair. You're so, you're such a big dummy. I'm trying to figure out, like, there's no way, there's no way for me to get somebody adjacent to him to do something. And I, if we if we go for the thing and he fails his really stupid roll, he mm -hmm. loses his tackle zones. If we don't give him any action order this turn. There's no chance of him losing tackle zones. Mm -hmm. So I'm just not going to give him any orders this turn. Okay. This is pretty likely to work out in our favor. Basically, there's like two faces that are good for us, three that do nothing, and one that is bad for us. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to go for it. Okay. Do I want to push him adjacent to the... Yeah. Yeah, why not? We can, we can work out a network of assists over here. Uh, and then this guy, like, he could dodge out. But, like, if I dodge out, I don't want to free this dude up. If I dodged out, it would be something like this. Mm-hmm. Has a two-thirds chance of working. 
That's better than his odds of surviving the punch. Yeah. Do it. Whee! Alright. If you want to drop this dude, it's going to cost you two actions. Yeah. Or, I guess, one action and a good one die block. Which the, the AI has shown that it is capable yeah, of. Yeah, definitely. Well. Maybe their luck has changed. So, if somebody does this to you, though, if somebody decides to run out the clock on you, uh, you have to have a plan. So what do you think the dwarf player should be doing here to make me... to, to minimize the harm of me running out the clock? Um... Smash your guys. That's one strategy, yeah. But basically what he has to do is he has to put pressure on me. He has to make it... Or make it, make it so that... He looks like he's gonna come over there and knock his teeth out of your ball carrier's face somehow. Yeah, he has to he has to convince me that it's not worth it for me to continue the drive. Yeah. Um, the easiest way to do that for the dwarf team is gonna be to exert so much offensive pressure on my guys that I'm afraid of people dying. Yeah. Because we're all spread out, he's in much better like position to provide assists to his guys mm -hmm. and stuff. Um, but what he doesn't know is I don't care about the lives of my players at all. Oh, Not even the tiniest Aww. bit. Um, so we're going to move a little further away from the dwarves. Or we're just going to chill. I'm having a great time. Yeah. I bet, actually, that's probably one of the nicest moments in Blood Bowl because you're not getting your face smashed up. You're not getting stepped on. <laughs> yeah, being, being the guy who gets to hold the ball in the You don't have line. to smell anyone else. You can <laughs> just be all by yourself in this peaceful little area. With oh, the ball. That's, a, that's a GFI. Why don't we do it like this? Let's just throw some punches. Yeah. Nice. Uh, so let's push, let's chain push him into this guy. And that guy goes to here. Mm -hmm. We're getting everybody further away from the ball. You. No, it's probably better just to go to this space. Okay. Look at the crowd. Freaking out, man. I, you know, I, I hadn't really looked at them before. This is another good. It's kind of fun to watch you play, at least half of it, because then I get to notice all these little things. This guy is staying down. <laughs> That, that's he's not, totally reasonable. He's not actually affecting these guys at all. Like I don't even with three full moves, I don't think these guys reach the end. So, mm -hmm. so him getting up doesn't do he me any take good. A little rest. Yeah. Now it is possible you are allowed to hit a player who's down. Sorry, you're not allowed to hit a player who's down. Yep. But you can often get away with hitting a player who is down. Not a legal thing to do, but. Um, but you can only throw one. It's called a foul, for a reason. Uh, you can only throw one foul per turn. So if he wants to start fouling my dudes, that's a that's a good way to put pressure on an enemy. Fouls mm -hmm. are much more likely than blocks to result in an injury. Mm -hmm. So if somebody's doing this thing, just start gang fouling their players. Um, what happens if you get in trouble for fouling? The player who the player who puts the boots to the other guy can get kicked out of the game. That is a real oh, thing that can happen. Do you think it happens often? Oh. Harsh, rough turn. Oh, he runch. I had it coming. Uh, no, it does not happen. The way it works is when you uh, when you foul somebody, you just make an armor roll against them. The mm -hmm. same the same as if you hit them. You know, you make an armor roll after the hit. Um, so it's just you roll two d six and you compare it to their armor value. Okay. Um, and then if you beat their armor value, you get your injury roll. Like normal, you roll 2d6 and compare it to the table of injury results. Mm -hmm. The player who throws the foul only gets sent off if one of those rolls is doubles. Ooh. So it's actually pretty uncommon. He also rolled a two attacker down, but he had a re-roll. Yeah, he, he actually still has a team to roll up even after doing that. Oh, Bronil. Bronil's had a tough game. He is getting his, yeah, he's getting his face uh, kicked in pretty regularly. Dwarves are a tough fight. <laughs> you can only use one. Uh, I don't think it's actually come up, but you can only use one team reroll per turn. So that was kind of funny because this guy fell down and then kind of flopped over. Yeah, his uh, his armor broke. He stopped. Ah. Okay. It All is right. it is the turn. We do not roll dice on the turn. Yeah, let, let us not. No thing that can fail, no matter how likely it is to not fail. <laughs> touchdown for the mediocre <laughs> moons. Not just a touchdown. No. 
Well, yeah, the touchdown. Okay. What else? Well, I was going to say, not just the touchdown, but also wow, the championship. Yeah. But I kind of thought it was going to go to that faster. Because mm. the game's over. I don't know that it needs to, to figure out whether our guys got up. Oh, they have one turn they left. They have one turn left, yeah. Okay, so Elise, do you know what time it is? It is coward time. It is time for the cowards formation. So when there is only one of your opponent's turns remaining in the game, and you cannot do anything of value, the smart thing to do, the smart money, <laughs> is take all of your players who are worth anything and move them to the back Get line them. as far from harm as possible. Way out of the way. Oh, I'll have three players on the line of scrimmage, don't you worry. It's going to be two linemen and a goblin. Aw, poor goblin. Here's the thing about the goblin. Get B, it's okay. Um, he's real Get cheap. Brave. We can hire another one very easily. He's a brave guy. We'll get B. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna box up together. Protect him. Protect him with your lives. <laughs> I don't love a goblin, but I'm, there's nothing that is less valuable than a lineman. Uh, here. I don't know. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter at all. So they can't they can't even pretend to threaten a touchdown. The only thing they can do is score some SPP by punching us. Mm -hmm. And they should. They should punch. They should get as brutal as possible because there's there's star player points on the line. That mm -hmm. stuff's valuable. Um, I, I said as brutal as possible. There, You cannot get star player points for fouling somebody. Mm -hmm. yep. So if you were to consider a turn 16 foul to be bad manners, I would be hard-pressed to disagree mm -hmm. with you. <laughs> yeah, the point is get as, as many SPP as you can at yeah. the end. Not just be an a hole for no reason. Spite fouling in an attempt to kill one of your opponent's players is it's legal, sort of, but it's not. Oh, he really? The, he went for the pickup. He why went did he? He went for GFIs into the pickup before throwing any punches. Yeah, why? I don't recommend it. Okay. Not wise. That's okay. Um, it's also a good idea, if you're having one of these turns where, like, nothing matters anymore. Uh, throw a pass, you know? Yeah. You get SPP for that. Punch some dudes, then throw Poor a pass. Poor Bronil. <laughs> Bronil. We, he's having a bad day. We should check and make sure that he's actually wearing armor. <laughs> oh. oh. Can't get through Gippy's armor. Oh. Maybe that's what hap what's happening here, is that Gibby has slowly been stealing pieces from Bonehill's armor over the weeks. <laughs> Not like full pieces, though, because it wouldn't fit. It no, like... no. Yeah, just like it's sawing off little bits here and there. <laughs> the structural integrity of Bonehill's armor has been okay. severely compromised. So there's a winnings roll. Uh, you roll a die, and then you get some money you based on your two. die. If you are the winner of the game, you can re-roll your winnings die. If you are the loser, you cannot, but you still get money as the loser. still get some. Um... The most oh. valuable players were Rex and Anli. I don't... This is... I mean, hey, that, that put him over a level. Oh, yeah. He had two SPP already. Uh, not a lot of... Not a lot of SPP earned that game, uh -oh. actually. It was one injury and the touchdown, and then the MVPs. Wow. You can see here the statistics. I'm sure that these make sense. They yeah. they succeeded on 67 blocks while we succeeded on 42. Uh, they punched us. They punched us good. At least we did it. They done punched us. We did it. The competition Woo! is over. You have won the competition. We're champions. In a sense, you could say I'm a champion. Uh, and you sort of watched. What? But also, we're champions. Is the thing you could believe. If you what? wanted to. I'm saying it's America. It's the land of the free. If you want to believe We that. are champions. Okay, we are champions. Hey, let's level up our linemen. Okay. Wreck. Okay, uh, nothing special. I was hoping special. we'd get doubles. What do you think? Kick? Make him a kicker? Yeah, yeah. Good the other thing you. I like on uh, linemen, I think this is kind of like... Uh, I'm going to say, I think this is kind of the tech. I don't read Blood Bowl strategy. I don't play Blood Bowl with like people who are into it all the time. So maybe this is like the most known thing. But I think Wrestle is kind of the silver bullet, man. Mm -hmm. uh, when, you, when a player with Wrestle gets hit with a both down, he can drag the other guy to the... He can choose to go down and drag the other guy to the ground. Mm-hmm. Even if the other guy has block, even if he himself has block, even if they both have block, you can just grab the oh, dude okay. and wrestle him to the ground. That's pretty cool. If you have wrestle, you throw a both down, you use wrestle, and you down yourself to down the enemy, mm -hmm. it doesn't end your turn. It doesn't count as failing the roll. Mm. Hmm. 
But uh, if the other player, it also works that way if the other player hits you and you wrestle, mm-hmm. um, unless one of you had the ball. Okay. Um, so I, I really like it as sort of an antidote to a lot of people take block, right? Because block is a powerful skill. Mm-hmm. It has a lot of effect on your ability to win fights. I think wrestle is a neat counter to block. Um, but yeah, like having a kicker is not bad. Um, this guy could take a dirty player, allows you to foul more effectively. Nah. I kind of like having one dirty player on the team. I think we can but, get that later, though. Yeah, you're probably right. We can get that later. You want to just take kick? Yeah. Let's just take kick. Take kick. That's fine. Congratulations, Woo-hoo! Rax. You're you the kick. kicker. All right. Well, I think that's going to be it for us. Hey, right. I'm doing it. All right. Damn. Woo! Check that out. Team value 1,200. Look at us go. We're right. our way up in the world. Yeah, that's going to be it for us for today, for now. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you have any, uh, any Blood Bowl type related subjects you'd like to see videos on, uh, leave that stuff in the comments below. And uh, we'll see you next time. Alrighty, see ya.